Join me today where we're gonna be making a pretty cool little automated hydroponic system. I got the idea for this ebb and flood system from a few different places. Firstly was an article I read that Yuka Fatali had put out there. It's been on the web for a little while and it's a pretty cool little system. I think he used IKEA components as well for that. But I'm changing it up a little bit. The concept is the same, but I'm going to be adding my own little touch to it. The other reason that I had this idea is when I was walking through Ikea the other day, I came across these containers which were inexpensive, good quality plastic, but I saw the lid and thought this would be perfect. So this is the lid that goes on. You can see there's already a hole in there and you'll see what we do with that in a second, but this just fits directly on top and we have a perfect reservoir down the bottom and a grow table up the top. What we first need to do is drill a hole through the bottom of the flood table. So this here, the water needs to come up through the middle, flood this and then drain back out again. So we're gonna drill a hole through the bottom. I've got a bit of a clever little system that I've built in my 3D modeling software and this is it. So basically I printed that out on my 3D printer. I designed it in Fusion 360 and I'm pretty proud of it actually. This top part is in case it overflows, it will then just drain back out and you can see that it will drain through there and it's not gonna be impacted by where the water's coming in. So there we go, we have the pump now down below. You can see that down there. That is gonna be on the bottom of the reservoir. I think we're ready to actually try this out. So I need some water and I'm just gonna pour it straight in here because it will go straight through to the bottom. So to test the pump, I'm just gonna connect it directly to a 12 volt source. It is a 12 volt pump. Before I do, I'm gonna just put this in. This is gonna clip in place. And we'll see how this works. Hopefully it doesn't spray everywhere. That's all right, actually. See how quickly it fills up. You can see how that's working down the bottom there. The water draining out. That's basically how an ebb and flood works. You'll pump the water up and when you switch off the pump, it'll just flow back through the pump. So these are the clay pebbles I'm gonna be using. Just expanded clay pebbles, standard stuff for hydroponics. And essentially this is going to go directly in the top here as the grow medium for our hydroponics. So let's time how long it takes to get it to the level I want because the next step relies on having an accurate time for how long this takes to flood. I think that is perfect, so 22 seconds. This allows me to set an interval, set how long I want the pump to be on for, and I can use it off a battery, so I can use it inside my greenhouse with 12 volts, or I can plug it into the mains using a 12 volt adapter. Let's go to the computer and program this. Basically, all we need to do here is change a couple parameters and we're all good to go. So the first one is the flood interval. I had this for testing at 60 seconds, which is 60,000 milliseconds. So I'm gonna change that to two hours, which I've got over here. 
So that's two hours. Flood duration, that's the important one here. So at the moment I had it set at five seconds. It needs to be 22 seconds. So that's 22,000 milliseconds. Nothing else for me to change here. Uh, if you want to know more about this, check out the link that I put above earlier. I'll put it in the description as well. For the moment, I'm just running it off a 12 volt DC adapter, just like that. With these plugs, this is sort of the system I'm using in the greenhouse of my solar panels and my batteries. I'm using Dean's connectors. So I just thought I'd be consistent and keep it like that. I've also put a Dean's connector on the end of the pump. So let's plug it all in. Before we get back to the video, I just wanted to point out if you want any of these designs or the setup for yourself, then have a look down in the description below and I tell you about how you can actually do that. Let's get back to the video. What we're going to do today is put in some nutrients and we're going to be shifting the plants into this container. What I recommend is to actually get another container. The thing is that this makes it really easy to change your nutrients. All you need to do is fill this with your nutrients and shift this top bit over to the new bucket. You can go clean out your bottom bucket and get that ready for the next time you do a nutrient change. I'm going to be using this stuff here from IKEA. It's part of the Vaxa range. It's an all-in-one nutrient solution and it's purely because it's accessible. You should be able to get hold of this if obviously you can get hold of these buckets. I'm gonna use this in the beginning. I might need to change it to something a bit stronger or something a bit different a bit later on in the season, but I'll keep using this for as long as I can and we'll see how we get on with our plants. The recommendation is to use four milliliters per liter of this solution. So this bucket I know is eight liters up to that line, just below that line. And that means I need 32 milliliters of solution for eight liters of water. Just so I don't forget, we have the marugula on the left and the aipinha on the right. When they get a bit bigger, I'll put those labels on them, but it uh, should be easy enough to remember. All that's left is to plug in the automation and this will be ready to go. If you want to see how the system gets on through the season and how these plants do, make sure to subscribe and put that bell icon on. There's plenty other topics that I cover on my channel that I'm sure will be of interest to you. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know down below and I'll do my very best to answer.